in a bankrupt company's old home. There's a multi-million dollar offer on the table for Digital Domain's former headquarters. News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts, part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, and she joins us live from Port St. Lucie with more on all of this. Megan? And tonight, city officials are telling me Port St. Lucie is the closest it's been yet to getting rid of one of its largest financial burdens. The city built the tradition studio for the digital domain media group with a price tag of about $40 million. Tonight, a bid for $14 million could be the city's best chance of getting rid of some of that debt. When hundreds of digital domain employees were told to pack their bags last year, they weren't the only ones left with a financial burden. Definitely a top priority for the city to deal with this building one way or another, and it will continue to be until it's resolved. The city left paying nearly $3.4 million a year after the company went bankrupt. City spokesperson Ed Cunningham says the company couldn't help pay the building off. It's important for us to get a good offer, get somebody in there to take over the building. Cunningham says dozens of companies have made bids on the building, but a $14 million bid from Delaware-based company Horizon Central Global has been the best offer yet. City officials met a couple weeks ago to discuss the option of keeping the building to use as a civic center to benefit those that live west of I-95, but realized that would incur even more costs for the city, now saying it might just be best to get rid of it. It does save the city $2 million a year, and that's good news. The bid worth half a million dollars more than the building was appraised for. And of course, everybody wants this city to be strong financially, to continue to provide good quality services. Uh, but the more, we can be, the more we can secure our financial future, the better we can do that. Now, we do know that Horizon Central Global is a construction design company, but it's still unknown exactly what they would do with this facility if they do end up purchasing it. If the sale does go through, city officials say that could help some Port St. Lucie residents see some lower property taxes. City Council will discuss this on Monday. Reporting live in Port St. Lucie, Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.